Welcome to another episode of the Online Drift School. I've been involved in drifting for about 10 years now. I've had the opportunity to meet and talk with a bunch of really cool people in the drifting uh, industry, not only from pro Formula Drift drivers, but different event organizers. I've driven with a ton of different people. And so I wanted to share a lot of the feedback that I've gotten over the years with other new drivers. This video is for Andy Whipple. So Andy started drifting with us the Myrtle Beach Drift Series uh, last year and his sweet turbo MR2. And now he's picked up a 240 and that's what he's been drifting is, is this S13. So this video is me giving feedback to Andy about the last event uh, that he was at. I, I rode shotgun with him and took some video and I was having a hard time kind of capturing all the feedback I wanted to give to him at the time just because there was a lot going on and so this gave me the opportunity to video it, watch it, and really put my thoughts together and now I'm putting it on my YouTube and sharing it with Andy and whoever else wants to check it out. Well hello there, my name is Devin. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Garage. This is where I post videos of all the cars I'm working on, the drift events I go to, and me driving my old red A86. I recently started to help with the drift events here at the Myrtle Beach Drift Series. Make sure to check them out, Myrtle Beach Drift Series, as well as my drift team, Unsung Legends, on all the social media. Thanks! Alright, so here your first initiation isn't too bad. You got a little flick, a little throttle but then you backed off the throttle almost instantly, and so it didn't want to stay sideways. If you stayed in a little longer, you would have been able to modulate it and find that sweet spot. Another thing too is you need to be moving a little bit faster and it'll make it easier. All right, this next bit is harder to see because it's kind of through my visor, but I'm gonna slow it down real quick and I'll try it again. You can see right when the car starts to come out, right here, a little hesitation to let it counter steer, and then you grabbed it a few times. Let's do that again. Initiate here as it comes back. Boop, 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 and kind of grabbed it and grabbed it too soon. And sit. So you need to let it uh, let it self steer a little bit more. You're just hanging on to it a little bit too much. And here's a better view of kind of the same thing happening here. Initiate. Let it. Oh. All right, Andy, I know what your problem is. You got commitment problems, man. So here's what I mean by that. You enter a little slow, you're a little hesitant. I know that your car is a little funny going into second gear. So you need to be able to get it into second and mash that throttle as soon as you can and build up more vehicle speed before you enter, okay? And then the next thing you need to do is, you know, you can get an initiation going, you know, you initiate in the corner all right, but then you're like hesitant to let the car do what it wants to do. You need to be able to flick it and let it kind of settle in. And if you carry more vehicle speed, it's going to be more difficult for you to spin out. Especially with the, the balance of grip that your car has front to rear, you're not using really sticky front tires. So if you carry more speed, if anything, you might understeer a little bit. So you got to be able to feel that out to see where your front grip is going to be to know how hard you can huck it in. And then the other thing too is that with the commitment, you're overthinking things. So you can tell when you're letting the vehicle counter steer um, or self steer, you let it go and then you go, mm, do I, I think I want it here. Nope, I gotta let go of it, I, I think I want it here. And you're thinking, trying to find that sweet spot, but as you're focusing on the steering, you're forgetting about the throttle. The main thing that steers the car with drifting isn't the steering wheel, it's, it's, your, it's the gas pedal. Your steer with a throttle and your steering wheel just points you, kind of that's what locks you into the angle, right? So you're gonna steer, you're gonna push forward as well as kick the car out with the throttle and you really shouldn't have to adjust the steering wheel too much. Okay, so let's wrap it up here. One, you need more speed, right? So enter with a little bit more speed. Two, don't be afraid to commit. If you spin, you spin, no big deal. And I know that you're still working through that. I think carrying more speed is gonna help you to spin less. And three, get used to feeling the car. You know, use that butt dyno to figure out what the car wants to do and get on throttle a little bit. So when you slow down too much, you're either gonna straighten out or you're gonna spin just because you don't have the momentum to keep carrying the car forward and it's just gonna loop around on you. So 
that's what you need to do, man. I think that's the things that you should focus on at the next event, and I will see you there.